Hey golf people, so as you know, I've tested a lot of irons this year. I mean a lot of irons. And I've come up with what I think are probably the best two irons of 2021, at least for a mere mortal. We're not talking blades here today. We're talking about something that sort of straddles the line of performance and game improvement. So something that'll be perfect for you mid handicappers and even a low handicapper. The two irons that stood out for me, head and shoulders above the pack were the TaylorMade Sim 2 and the Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metals. Now the 921s were actually a 2020 release, which is why I did not include them in my best irons of 2021. I was only looking at 2020 releases in that video and I caught a ton I mean, an absolute ton of flack for that. That's not to say I didn't think they were absolutely amazing. I was just covering 2021 releases in that video. So hopefully you understand my thinking there. I had the chance to play both the Sim 2 as well as the JPX 921s this year. I put them both in my bag for a couple of months over the summer, and I'm here to share my results with you so you can make an informed decision this holiday season or whenever you're shopping for your next set of clubs. All right, now I'm gonna tee one up here and we're gonna play a few holes as I walk and talk through what I ended up deciding and what I think are the best irons of 2021. Let's have some fun. All right, the first category I wanna to cover today is feel. How do these clubs feel when you strike the ball at impact? I'd say in the lower irons, both of these clubs have really good feel. But where the Mizunos shine for me is in the long irons. I think they are much better feeling when it comes to the long irons. We're talking the four, five, six, and maybe even the seven iron. Not to say that the Sims feel terrible, but they definitely feel like a cast club. And while the Mizunos are also a cast club, they almost have a bit of a forged feel. Not perfect, not exactly like forged, but definitely better than the Sim 2s. I've got 138. I was just watching a video from Phil Mickelson saying how the ball doesn't travel as much in the mornings as it does in the afternoon and that's definitely the case i find that all the time out here so normally this would be a nine iron for me but i'm gonna hit an extra club you're gonna hit eight thank you phil mickelson i probably would have been about here with my nine iron but instead i've got a little 10 foot birdie putt let's make it Now I should say that sound goes along with feel as well. The Sim 2s have an interesting sound to me. I've gotten used to them over the course of time, but they're definitely a little more brick sounding. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a little bit harsh. That's all I can say. So for those reasons, I'm gonna give a point to Mizuno for both feel and sound. Let's talk about the next category, which to me is an important one, workability. So for all you mid to low handicappers, it's really important that if you're gonna play a club like this, that's gonna give you a little bit more distance. You don't want that to be at the cost of you being able to work the ball right or left, all right? So which of these two clubs is better? Let me hit a shot real quick, and then I'll tell you what I think. Got the driver working today. So again, for clubs that sit in this category, they're definitely not player's irons. They're a little better than game improvement or beginner's clubs for sure but they're definitely not player's irons. I think both of these clubs offer incredible amount of workability of the ball. The JPX 921s are so ultimately forgiving on right and left less than center hits that they tend to straighten the ball out just a tad, whereas the Sim 2, a very forgiving club in its own right, and again, we're gonna get into that in the next category here. I'm still able to really draw that ball and fade that ball on command and it's even a little bit more pronounced. Maybe not as pronounced as a blade, but pretty pronounced, again, for this category of clubs. So I'm gonna give the slight edge here to the Sim 2s when it comes to workability. Now, as I pull my four iron out here, I think the next category we need to talk about is distance. And this is where I would normally be hitting maybe as much as a three wood, definitely a hybrid from this location. I'm able to get a little bit more control with my higher irons, like the four and five irons, and really make a nice layup that has penetrating ball flight, but not at the expense of hitting the fairway. Let me tell you which one of these gets my vote for distance right after I hit this shot. Yeah, that's perfect. On a not so perfect lie, I might add, and that's what's great about both of these clubs, is that on lies like that, it was very thin. There was a little bit of brown stuff there you might've seen on the camera. 
both of these clubs get down and get that ball up very easy, much easier than your player iron category. All right, so when it comes to distance, both of these clubs helped me increase my distance by anywhere from 10 to 15 yards. I'd say 12 yards on average. Where I was hitting an eight iron, I'm now hitting a nine iron. Where I was hitting a four iron, I'm now hitting a five and sometimes even a six iron. It's pretty crazy. My seven iron, just to give you a baseline, went from an average of 155 to now 167. All right, so again, 12 yards there. That is the distance I've picked up with both of these clubs. So in terms of distance, I'm going to give each of these clubs one point. They're both incredibly long and man, it has made golf a lot easier for me this year. At least trying to get home in two from par fives or to do what I just did there and even have a nice layup that's very controlled. And I know where that ball's gonna go. But I said control there, right? That's our next category. In terms of control, on the longer irons, which ones am I able to control more? And I'm gonna go with Sim 2 here for sure. The JPX 921 hot metals, as long as they are, I often sprayed the ball right with them. They're just a little less consistent in the higher irons in terms of control for me. I'm able to control the Sim 2 irons much more consistently. And the difference between shooting 85 and shooting 78 oftentimes comes down to control. So I'm gonna give a point here, and it's a big point, but they all count the same. A big point here goes to the Sim 2 for control. All right, 127, using our logic, that would normally be a pitching wedge for me, but being in the morning and we got a little wind against us, I'm gonna go nine iron here. Oh, that's good, man. That is good. Woo! Birdie putt number two coming. I just love the shot shape of these clubs. So I think about control when it comes to the high irons, but I think about accuracy when it comes to the lower irons. We're talking seven, eight, nine pitching wedge. In terms of accuracy from the low irons, I think they're both absolutely amazing. And I think an argument could be made either way for both of these clubs. Tough putt coming back. Hopefully I make it. I don't want a three putt. This is a very long green. I'm gonna move the camera here. Woo. So when it comes to accuracy, I think a case could be made for either of these clubs. I've got to give just the ever so slight advantage to the JPX 921s. I think on the low irons, they perform just a little bit better, maybe even a little bit more consistently in terms of distance. So all in all, I'm going to crown the JPX 921 the best for accuracy. 157, now the wind has changed, all right? This is where I would normally be hitting a seven iron, but I'm feeling a little bit more warmed up. It's getting a little bit later in the morning and the wind has shifted now behind us. So we're gonna go eight iron here. Super duper solid, not a hole in one, but another shot at birdie. All right, so next category I wanna cover here is options. What options are available to you in terms of shaft choice, in terms of different style of irons in the range? Now the Sim 2 has the max oversized. The JPX 921 has both the Hot Metal and the Hot Metal Pro. It's also got the regular 921s, the Forged and the Pro model. So there's much more variety when it comes to the range of clubs. There's also a ton more variety when it comes to shafts. Mizuno does not charge you anything extra to put custom shafts in your clubs. There's a very long list of what's available so you can customize it to your needs. And so for that reason, when it comes to customization, I've got to give it to the JPX 921 Hot Metals. tell you all about this putting drill when we shut it down for a little bit here. I'll only be able to do putting reviews and wedge reviews very soon here. This is actually my last casual round of the year. I've got surgery next week in fact so I've got this is my last casual round. I've got the club championship and that is it. So I'm just excited to be out here with you guys once again. It's been an incredible year thanks to you and I hope the advice you've gotten this year has been worth your time. 
couple more things I just want to talk about with these irons and then we'll wrap up. So let's talk about forgiveness. If you watch this show, you can probably tell that I am not a very sweet ball striker. While I do have a pretty consistent swing, <laughs> at least it looks that way, my contact isn't always so consistent. And I'm not always taking that beautiful looking mohawk divot that you see the pros make either. I often hit the ball a little lower on the face. That's my normal miss. And sometimes I hit it a little bit towards the toe or towards the heel. My wear pattern definitely does not look like Tiger Woods in his prime. It's pretty good, but it's definitely not Tiger's. And more often than not, I'm hitting it low on the face. So how do these clubs do in terms of forgiveness? I love the forgiveness of both of these clubs, but I've got to give the edge here to the Sim 2s. I have found them to be ultimately forgiving. If we were on a scale of one to 10, I find the JPX 921 somewhere around a seven in terms of forgiveness. And I would rank the Sim 2s probably a nine. Yes, there are more forgiving clubs out there, but those are definitely in the super game improvement category. And just by a hair, the TaylorMade Sim 2 gets the point here. All right, guys, let's end strong. I've got a perfect look at this green here. I'm gonna take one more good long iron and then we're gonna wrap things up with our last category and my final thoughts. All right, 166, I'm gonna go six iron here. Oh, not a nice swing. That was that low contact. All right, last category before I reveal what clubs I chose and what I think are the best clubs of 2021 in this category. I think we can't talk about golf clubs without talking about price. Golf is an expensive sport. It is a very expensive sport and Golf equipment has gotten more and more expensive over the last couple of years with the pandemic. The shortages used equipment got very expensive. There was just shortages if you were trying to buy new. I think that's all coming back here. Thankfully in 2022, I don't think we'll have the same problem sourcing equipment, but prices have definitely slipped up. I gotta find my ball here. Hopefully we find it, come on. Where are you? Okay, I almost gave up, but I have found it. It's not in a very good spot though, unfortunately. It's really bad, actually. I don't think I can get a club on that. I don't see a way I could, honestly. So we're gonna have to take an unplayable lie. That stinks. Well guys, I'm editing the video here and somehow I lost the shots. So I'll just tell you what happened. It wasn't pretty and you didn't miss anything, honestly. I chipped up, it was a little bit long. I just missed the putt coming back and I tapped in for a double bogey, so it was a bad hole. And I decided we're gonna do one more hole here because you don't wanna end on a double bogey. But to wrap up the value conversation, I'm gonna give the point to the Sim 2 because it is considerably less expensive than the Mizunas. I never wanna talk about exact prices because prices change, but suffice it to say, the Sim 2 will set your wallet back a little bit less. So let's go ahead and tally up the scores. And the scores do tell the tale for me. In the end, I chose the TaylorMade Sim 2s. These clubs have been so amazing for me the last few months that I kept them in my bag, at least semi-permanently. Listen, I'm a golf club reviewer, so my bag is always changing. But right now, this is my set. I'll be playing with it in the club championship. And this is the set I've been playing for the last two and a half maybe even three months now. Absolutely loving it. My handicap got all the way down to 4.3. It's now slipped slightly back up to 4.7, but by far the best golf I've ever played. And I think a lot of that has to do with these clubs. I'm hitting it longer. The difference between putting a seven iron and a five iron in your hand is a big difference, my friends, when it comes to scoring. And for all the other reasons I mentioned, I'm really loving these clubs. All right, we're cutting through the trees here because we're skipping a hole. And we're gonna go to a par three. You know I gotta end it on a par three. Because, first of all, this is an iron video. But number two, I need one more chance at a hole in one before this year's over. So thanks to those of you who have stuck around here for this portion, you are the true fans. And it's because of you that I do what I do and get to do what I do. This has been an incredible 2021. We went from just under 2,000 subscribers to 
26,000 subscribers, because that's 13X. It's crazy, and it's thanks to you and all your support. If you want to continue to support this show, continue to watch the videos we've got at the end of the year here. If you want to become a channel member or a Let's Play Through VIP, we call it, there is a link to join the channel. And we're going to be doing a member-only giveaway here on Friday. We're giving away a rangefinder. Right now, you've got a one in five chance because we only have five members. So if you want to have a one in six chance, one in seven chance, get signed up. And we're going to be giving away a lot of really good things to the channel members here as we end the year. It's like my Christmas present to you guys. So thank you for following the channel, supporting what we do. Hopefully we end strong here. At 166, I'm going seven iron. We're almost in every green in regulation today. It was actually a little long, about five yards long. Really hit that one well. This is where we landed. And uh, you can see this is like a, a downhill. So it would have been a really nice chance at birdie. Got a little bit unlucky here, but that's golf. At least we got to tap in today for once. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And hopefully you learned a little bit more about the Sim 2s and the JPX 921 hot metals. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.